See the game more clearly with high-definition spectacle lenses from Norville Opticians. John, how angry have, have Gloucester been this week after what happened up at Saracens? Missed opportunity, if you like. Yeah, uh, guys are frustrated, like angry. It's mostly, you know, the wrong word, like frustration, you know, um, just disappointed. Like we gave ourselves an opportunity, but just weren't good enough on the day to take it. So how do you put that right this week against Newcastle? Oh, I think a win is pretty much all they can sort of make it right, you know. We're an arm wrestle in that middle of the table and you can't fall behind. And, you know, Newcastle, on the, you know, they'll be playing well, getting wins. So, you know, we just come in, we've looked at the game, got all what we needed out of it and just working hard towards trying to put a good performance in at home so we can get a win. And obviously Gloucester had been, you know, sort of stringing a run of decent performances together until that Saracens result. So, do you feel you can get back on the bike pretty quickly? Yeah, you know, it's half a performance, you know, we were going well in the first half and we just didn't come out in the second half and we lost all momentum, you know, uh, you know, a few penalties at set piece and a few errors. So, uh, you know, new week, you know, you can't get caught up on that. Newcastle, you know, they're going to be dangerous, you know, they're going to play, you know, their forwards will be going all right. So, you know, we've just got to match that. We've got to come out with the right intensity, the right accuracy. You know, our discipline's got to be good. Can't give them anything free and, you know, make them play and make them work. And, you know, look to get points, really. Yeah, a lot of focus on Newcastle at the moment is about Andy Good, but obviously he's playing behind the pack. How well do you rate their pack? Yeah, you know, we played them round one and I think we we're well prepared for that game. But, you know, I think they're packed of build. They've sort of brought in, uh, you know, Nilly Lato, he's been playing a lot of games with them as well. You know, they're just growing with confidence. And, you know, the key for us is that we can't be silly, make silly errors, you know, silly penalties which gives them line outs, which gives them a attacking platform, you know, they like to drive, they like to play with width, so, you know, if we can limit, you know, how many set pieces they get in our half will be great. Yeah, discipline, so important. How hard is it each week to stay on side with the, as the referee changes each week and work out what each one wants from you? Because I dare say it might not always be the same. Yeah, uh, you know, obviously each ref's different and they're going to see the game different. So key for us is just to uh, see that straight away if that's at the breakdown or at set piece, see how he's riffing it and then, you know, just an, an attack. If he's riffing it quite tightly, you know, we just got to make sure we're strict. If he's given a bit of breathing room around set piece or at rucks, you know, you just got to play to the letter of the law and the ref is the law on the day, I guess. And that communication, does that come from the ref to the captain to the rest of the players or do you as senior players just sort of pick up on the mood, if you like? Oh, I think everyone just tells straight away, you know, the first sort of breakdown, a first carry, you know, if guys are getting stuck in and he's pinging straight away, it's going to be a game where, you know, he's got the attack and he get the rub of the green. So, you know, it's part of the game, but, I th you know, it's not the major part. The major part is the boys delivering good set piece and the backs finishing the moves and, and it's a simple game, that's what we want and two teams without too many Six Nations call-ups. So does that mean that the intensity of, of, of this Premiership match might be a little bit higher than some of the others elsewhere in the fixture list this weekend? Oh, no, I think, you know, all games in the Premier are, are a tough um, wrestle, you know, this year everything is close, you know, there's the fight at the top, there's the fight in the middle and there's the fight at the bottom, so everyone's desperate for points. So, you know, I think they might not be side to side, you know, 50-point games, but there's a lot of you know, tension, there's a lot of, you know, drive in all the games, so, and they'll be exactly the same on Saturday, you know, they'll be looking for points, we're looking for points, you know, we've come off a bad loss, and, you know, they've come off a high win, so, it's just one of those games where we can get a grip hold early in the game and just keep the pressure on them if they get the result.